What is up? I am Meredith. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. We are in a little bit of a different location today. We are in the back of my car in the middle of beautiful and gorgeous Maine because I have an amazing and very exciting product that I want to share with you guys today. I'm going to be unboxing the G2 grill from Kenyon. This is a completely charcoal free, completely gas free electric grill. I'm gonna be unboxing it with you guys today and then I'm gonna show you guys how to cook on it. It is an amazing, amazing piece. So all you need for this grill is an electrical outlet. This is why we are in the back of my car because I got an electrical outlet right up front. We're gonna be plugging it in and we're gonna be grilling in the back of my car today. This grill is perfect for tailgating. This is perfect for houses that don't have grills. This is perfect for apartment and city living. This is perfect for patios and balconies that don't allow gas or charcoal grills. This is the perfect solution for all of these things. I'm really excited to introduce you guys to the G2 Kenyan electric grill. So first up, I'm going to unbox this little one and I'm gonna show you guys their four piece tool set. So this has all of the tools that you possibly could ever need for grilling. It's got a spatula, it's got tongs, it's got a poker. Let's go ahead and see what is inside. Unbelievable. Look at this tool kit set. Next up, we're going to unbox what I believe is the griddle for the grill. So not only can you guys grill all different types of meats and veggies and all that good stuff on the grill, you can also make breakfast. You can fry some eggs, you can make some pancakes. Amazing. Now, let's unbox the G2 electric grill. I'm so excited to show you guys this. Oh, she's a big one. All right, here she is. And just to give you an idea for weight, I'm able to sort of pick it up and maneuver it, no problem. She is definitely substantial because it is stainless steel, but I'm not really struggling with the weight of it. So. Go ahead and lift the cover up, take off the plastic. She is a beauty. So we've got the electrical plug here and this is such a stunning grill. Unbelievable. Comes with stainless steel cleaner and some instructions. I'm going to go ahead and take off the plastic. So pretty. Let's talk a little bit about pricing. The griddle goes for $140. The toolkit goes for $74.95. And the MSRP of this Kenyan grill is $895. Before I go ahead and turn this on, I wanted to show you guys the bars. So for the bars, this indicates how hot this grill gets. It gets up to 550 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm gonna be cooking veggies, so I'm gonna put it on bar four. If you're cooking steak, you're gonna probably wanna turn it all the way up to here. And the dimensions of this grill is about 20 inches from front to back, it's about 16 inches wide, and it is about nine inches tall. All right, so there's a few things we need to do before we get cooking. First thing is first, this plug does not fit into a regular electrical outlet, but they do provide you with one. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug that in so that way I can plug this into my car. Next step is to plug it in. If you guys have a newer car, you might wanna go ahead and check to see if you guys have an electrical outlet as well. I'm simply gonna take the cord and just plug it into the back of my Jeep so we can turn on the grill. So in order for the grill to turn on, I needed to turn the power of my car on as well. So let's go ahead and get the rest of this set up. We're gonna go ahead and open the cover. We're gonna go ahead and take this off, like so. Then we're going to go ahead and lift this up. And then we're gonna fill the drip tray with three cups of water. We're gonna go ahead and close this back up. Put 
time to turn it on. While we wait five to seven minutes for the grill to preheat, I'm gonna show you guys what I'm cooking today. I'm not a meat eater. I don't eat steak, I don't eat chicken, I do eat fish, but today we're gonna to grill some veggies. Even though the grill is nonstick, I wanted to add some butter because everything tastes better with butter. After a few minutes of them cooking, I went ahead and flipped them. After another couple minutes, I went ahead and checked them and look at that, they were browning up so nicely. I mean, am I not the only one who likes to take a mini dance break while cooking? Ooh, yeah, listen to that sizzle, baby. And because I've never cooked on this grill before, I wasn't really sure how the temperature was gonna be, so I flipped them one last time, and this is the final result. All right, guys, so the veggies are done. Let's go ahead and plate them. And one of the easiest things about this is that you can take a wet or a damp paper cloth and all you have to do is wipe and it cleans right up. And it's dishwasher safe. And there you guys have it, it's as easy as that. I just wanted to point out a couple notes that the grate is completely stick free. It's dishwasher safe, you can wipe it down with a damp paper towel. This grill is flameless and it is grease flare up Free, which is super important especially when cooking indoors and I just love it it's a great size it's convenient you can take it wherever and whenever you want it's not a big cumbersome outdoor grill it's portable it's travelable it's stainless steel it's really 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 high quality I will make one note though about cooking the vegetables it does suggest a setting of three or four bars I went ahead and put mine up to six or seven I needed a little bit more heat for that but other than that, I'm super happy with this. It's so easy to use. All in all, it's a 10 out of 10 for me. I absolutely love the Canyon G2 grill, and I love the fact that you can use it anytime you have an electrical outlet, inside or outside. And last but not least, they have a three-year warranty, which is great. That way you're protected. Go ahead and check out the G2 electronic grill from Kenyon. You guys are going to love it. I am obsessed. Grilled food has never tasted so good. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.